Well, hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. How y'all doing? Coming to you from the man cave. Yep, yep, you lucky there. Got something totally different from X Fly. Sent to me from Banana Hobby. It is the Swift 2100 Power Glider. All right, give you some uh, specifications on this. We're gonna unbox it. Um, of course, made of EPO. We got some plastic carbon fiber. It has a 2100 millimeter wingspan, or other words, 82.7 inches. Um, it's 41 inches in length. Um, has a 9 by 6 two blade prop. Uh, 40 amp ESC. It has a 3136 motor with a KV of 1000. Got a battery then. Center, center of gravity is 50 millimeters from the leading edge of the front of the wing. Duration for flying 10 to 30 minutes. Of course, that's on, based on throttle management. You've got uh, nine gram visual servos. Um, it's five channels, so it's got aileron, elevator, rudder, flap, and of course throttle, so five. Um, re recommend is from a 3S or 4S, a 2200 or a 3300 milliamp battery, and runs about takes about 15 minutes to put together. Now, open it up for the very first time. But let me tell you something, we're going to swing the knife at you. I have absolutely no intention. I mean, I've got several of our power gliders, you know, I've got the Power Hobbies one, i got the Skynetic Shrike from Motion RC, had several, you know, Cusindos, and, you know, and power gliders, traditional power gliders are great. Um, but this one has an option that I decided to do. I'm not content with flying or with a traditional <laughs> motor. I pay for the upgrade. I'm going to run her on the 4S and I'm putting the EDF unit on top. <laughs> yep, that's what I plan on doing. Let's pause right there. I got batteries charged. I don't want to hear that beeping for the whole video, and I'm sure you don't want to. So we're going to unbox it in a second. Let me pause it. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Um, uh, the batteries were charged. They started beeping. I don't want to don't have to hear it. Brian Phillips should be very happy to know the manual for the Swift 2100 from XFly. It's an XFly product. Is not folded. <laughs> Comes with an Allen wrench. Looks like uh, uh, two millimeter hex drives. All you're going to need to one or two you're going to need. And it comes with some Velcro. And of course the manual. Metal spinner. Metal spinner. That is cool. I'll say it again. Metal spinner. The uh, of course, like I said, I'm doing the EDF drive. The back plate for the metal spinner is also metal. So that's interesting. Um, like this is XFly. And, and I gotta tell you folks, the XFly products, they are right up there, just as good, in some ways better than uh, E-Fly products. They're cheaper, they're, then they're well, they're designed just as well. And uh, I'm very impressed with them. Double. Oh man, this is this is a hard, stiff wing. This carbonated the spar goes all the way down to almost the very end. And this is very hard foam. So you've got spars going the entire double spars going the entire length inside that wing. And of course the finish is absolutely perfect. Um Oh, good. You've got quick connects to take this wing on and off. That's your flat. And those locking um, servo connections, so you don't have to worry about that. On the ailerons, you have carbon fiber reinforced, ball link. You have to add your ball links for your, or I mean, you have to attach your uh, control rod there for the, for the flat. Uh, fiberglass where the, the uh, wing spar will go in. Put that there. 
Just so you know, I'll be putting a AR620 antennas receiver in here. Big, very, very nice carbon fiber spar. Okay. And just so you know, the EDF unit does come with extensions for the to the ESC because you use the existing 40 amp ESC, and it comes with a little uh, dummy cone that will where you take out the motor and you put that on for the uh, chrono plane. That will enable me, I don't have a prop involved, so then I'll be able to land and take off like a traditional airplane. And that's something I've always wanted to be able to do, but the prop was always a problem, unless the prop was mounted on top of power gliders. Big, hard plastic protector so that I can land. Looks like four bolts hold the wing on. Have anything else in the way? All right. Very well. The, and even the quality of the foam of this package, this is very tight, hard, very solid foam, even in the packing material. Uh, packing crate. Impressive. Very impressive. This model is actually a little bit bigger than I expected it to be, which is okay. Look at the. Uh, carbon fiber top. Spring latch, very strong spring. Nice big uh, battery hatch, battery cover. Big, big battery bay. Um, XT60 for connector. I'm going to run it on 4S and uh, so I'll be removing the motor and just installing uh, that plastic nose cone on the top. And then the EDF unit will go up here. And there's actually, um, there's a punch out here for the wires. And you can tell where there's an intention for you to, um, well, you can kind of see on the camera or not. But there's a section there where you, it's obvious where you would put the uh, uh, EDF uh, unit. Now, that will be epoxied in, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure it's covered in the instructions, but... I shall find out, but um, I definitely would want to use epoxy on that because that's you know holding that whole motor out, holding that whole thing on. Big elevator, um, ball link again, and typical they have this link in type. Uh, oh, cool! Rudder's already hooked up for you, but you see that plastic channel there. I don't know if you can see it. See the plastic channel. You can kind of see how it, there's, a, there's a, a bar, and then look right down there. That means that's just going to run right in on that. Yeah, it's going to just fit right in there and lock in place. And it looks like one screw will go up, yeah, will go up through there to secure that. Now that so, you're going to have one screw there, four for the wings, so five screws is all you need. Got the plastic protection here, belly wheel, nice air inlet here. So, yeah, this is going to be a very, very simple build. And uh, the longest thing is going to be letting the epoxy set up to hold that in a cell on. I'm not going to have you uh, wait on that. Um, so I'm going to just put the plane together, and then if I run into any issues, I will cover that with you in a post-build, post-maiden uh, video. Um, yeah, this is, this is not a hard build, definitely a beginner-friendly um, type build. Sorry, I don't keep looking at the camera. I, <laughs> I, I keep forgetting that sometimes I'm talking, but I keep forgetting, oh yes, I am filming, so I need to look at the camera. Uh, I have no, no training in videography, so that's the, the excuse I'm going to use. <laughs> um, some features that it says about is uh, folding propeller. Of course, we won't be using a carbon fiber reinforced throughout the entire model, which it's, yeah, it's got carbon fiber everywhere in it. Uh, high power brush of 4S 
aerodynamic design for flight times up to 10 to 30 minutes. No easy assembly, no glue required, only six screws needed. Um, so I don't know what the, oh, probably for the nose cone. it will be the sixth one. Uh, optional to sell for EDF, which I got, which by the way, depending on where you get it, you can get anywhere from $39.95 to $49.95, just depending on where you get it. Um, but you can get it at Amazon sells it at the XFly store. You can get this plane and then a cell, or you can get it directly from uh, Banana Hobby. Uh, Bitco Hobby is not carrying this as of yet, um, so I went ahead and I got this, all this from uh, Banana Hobby. An optional can canopy and servo cam camera mount for FPV setup. So, okay, optional canopy. So, in other words, I didn't get the optional canopy. I did not pay for that. Um, but I'm not an FPV kind of guy, so I didn't get that. Nice, nice box. And uh, y'all saw my... Uh, Sorry, I'm not trying to ignore y'all. Update on the X-Fly Sirius. Um, the only damage in that less than good cartwheel crash I had was a very minor crash. And, you know, some skid marks there. And the nose cone um, took the brunt of the damage. And since I was ordering... This from Banana Hobby, I went ahead and just picked up another nose cone because that is the only thing wrong, really, with this plane from the cartwheel. And I'll fly with this one, and this will be my display cone. So, <laughs> just, just letting you with a little extra bonus video, part, part of the video. Um, but yeah, all you have, back to the uh, Swift here, you have the fuselage, which already has the rudder, everything hooked up for you. Both of your wings, the only, only connection you'll have to make will be your ball link on your flaps. Okay. You'll be sliding your elevator into the uh, very obvious channel and it will cl should click right in. And the nacelle now, this is the nacelle. This is not, this is the option. It's a $50, $39 or $49 option depending on where you get it at. That I'm going to be running. It's a 50 mil, 55 millimeter EDF, I believe. I don't remember now if it's either 50 or 55. It's whatever the standard is size, which probably is 55. And um, you know, I don't. I just don't remember you now what it says. Hold on, let me. It says it just get inside here. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, the uh, CG is uh, 50 millimeter, 50 millimeters from the leading edge of the wing. And uh, I'll have to, in the post build, I'll have to give you the exact millimeters on the EDF. I think it's either 50 or 55, it's one or the other. But she's gonna run off of a 4S. And, uh, oh, and when you put the wings in, these have metal inserts, so you'll be screwing metal screw into a metal wing insert, so. No gyro will be needed for this plane. I mean, usually these kind of gliders are just very, very simple to fly. And uh, I will be epoxying, everything else screws together, but I'll be epoxying this on the top of the plane. And uh, so that's that. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, like I said, you got a very small part count. Should not be a problem put together. If I run into any snags, I will share those with you in the post maiden post uh, build video. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget faith, family, and friends, and then planes. Bye-bye. And I got this from Banana Hobby. Very quickly, I might add.